This video is part of our free course on how to create an e-commerce platform like Shopify, using WordPress, WP Ultimo, WP Frontend Admin, and WooCommerce. You'll learn how to build a fully functional platform, where your users will purchase membership plans, to create and manage online stores easily. To manage their stores, your users won't have to use the normal WordPress dashboard, but will use a custom front-end dashboard for the entire network. They will view sales reports. Create and manage products. View and manage orders. View and manage customers. Set up payment gateways and taxes. Change their membership plans. Select custom domains for their sites. And everything related to their online store. The best part is that you don't need any programming knowledge. We'll guide you step by step to build your own e-commerce platform and start making money online. You can sign up to this free course by following the link in the description of this video. In this lesson, we'll start building the front-end dashboard for our e-commerce platform. The first page we will add to our front-end dashboard will allow our users to access the WooCommerce sales reports on the front-end. We need to start by going to the WP Ultimo Sites page. Now let's open the dashboard site. Once here, let's add a new page. Here we need to enter the page title and click on Edit with Elementor. Now let's change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. After that, let's import the front-end dashboard template into this page. After importing the front-end dashboard template, we need to add the shortcode that will allow us to display the WooCommerce sales reports on the front-end. With WP Front-end Admin, we can display any WP Admin page on the front-end by using this shortcode. You just need to add the URL of the WP Admin page you will display on the front-end between the quotation marks in the shortcode. In this case, we need the URL of the WooCommerce Reports page. The good news is that throughout this course, We'll give you the exact short codes you need so that you save some time. You can copy the short codes from the text version of each lesson. After pasting the short code, click on Preview Changes to display the WooCommerce Reports page on the front end. Now that the Reports page is displayed on the front end, we can use the WP Front End Admin Quick Settings panel to set up the page. This drop down allows us to select any site from our network to preview the admin content. In this case, we won't preview any site, so we need to select the dashboard site here. Now we can select the page title and URL slug. We can also select the navigation menu to which we want to add this page. In this case, we want to add it to our front-end dashboard menu so that it appears here. This is the content of the reports page, and we can remove any unnecessary elements from this page by using this button. This button is really useful to customize your front-end pages by getting rid of any unnecessary element or elements we don't want our users to access. With this checkbox, we can hide any notices added by other plugins or themes from this page. This button allows us to customize the texts to rename fields, texts, button, metaboxes, etc. In this section, we can select all the WP Ultimo plans for which this page will be available. We have created some test membership plans, and if we tick a plan, the page will be available for that plan. If we don't tick any plan, the page will be available to all plans. It's a great way to restrict content based on the WP Ultimo membership plan. If we tick this option, only super admins and the users who create the subsites through a WP Ultimo membership plan will be allowed to see this page. We won't apply this restriction for now. Once we're done setting up our WooCommerce sales reports on the front end, let's save the changes. As you see now, the reports page has been added to our front end dashboard's navigation menu. Now we can go back to Elementor and publish the page. This is what our WooCommerce sales reports page will look like on the front end once the dashboard is complete. In the next lesson, we'll display the WooCommerce products page on the front end dashboard to allow our e-commerce platform users to create and manage their products.